I saw some of that, some of those pictures and just the whole vibration and like, I want to know what happened because it looks yeah. like, looks like some cool 5D stuff t type stuff happened, collaboration. And it's really taking off. Yeah? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Let's see here. Hang on. Looks oh, like we're live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got, yeah. let's see, we got six people, four people in here. <clears throat> Agnes, Carol, Isabella, Estes, and Madi. Must be friends of yours. <laughs> uh, well, Bella is the, is, is the one from Brazil. Who is it? Which Bella one? Bella is the one that invited us to come to Brazil. So. Oh, wow. So you guys got invited to go to Brazil. Yes, we did. Was it work or play or it's all the same thing now? Well, it's, yeah, it's work anymore, really. <laughs> I know, man. God, I almost said I'm getting overheated from the inside, <laughs> which is, which is, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. This is okay. Let me see if it's in here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, God, there's already 36 people in the house. Okay, sound is good. Hello, everybody. Hello. She was, yeah. Hello, Sheila Sin, Aline, Mary Cooper, Oleg, Debrielle, Barbie Steiner, and a bunch of other people. I can't see who it is, but welcome. Thank you for your continued love and support and contributions. Keep us going. We're working on the website, and there's no timeline and no pressure uh, and some other stuff. But until then, we're 100% viewer supported, and we really appreciate it. Um, teaching us to operate by the seat of our pants, which is... <laughs> The 5D, no guarantee way, stay in the present. And if you can't, the universe will force you to. So it's been a, <laughs> quite a lesson. Hello, Baxter Fitz, Maria Iverson, uh, Karen Vernonmacher, Agnes, Fiona, Sean, Norma, Barb, Bradley, David, uh, Claudia, uh, Eon. I am uh, Ivana and Beth and Sunshine and that's it for now. 53 people. These shows resonate with you. Please share. I'm just going to share real quick the Soji group uh, network and we're going to find out what what goes on in Rio. Well, we're going to find out what we can because what goes on in Rio stays in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, we can be a little bit more open than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I know how you are. You're very open. A little, yeah, like me, I'm a little too open sometimes. Oh, no. So, I know. We're headed know. for full transparency, so. I know. That's what I keep going back on it. You know what? It, uh, eight years ago today, <clears throat> eight years ago today, I uh, went from, <laughs> I went from the Matrix to, to the 5D. Uh, I guess that's what happened. Yeah, so it's what, three o'clock New York, so eight years ago at this time would have been two o'clock. I was uh, in a place I didn't want to be. I had my freedom taken away, let's just put it that way. It happened at the drop of a dime and, uh, and that's when this all started, you know, in, in the human timeline. Yeah. I wasn't given the name Soulji till eight or nine months later on Morgan's birthday, three and a half years before I met her. But that's the day that I that everything happened. So it's a special day for me, uh, May 30th. So it's it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. I was trying to think about what do I write in this text of this live, and <clears throat> I had four other posts, <clears throat> excuse me, to do, and yeah. I couldn't put the words together because what I wanted to say was, you know. A thousand plus episodes, uh, you know, this, you're like, you know, not just mine, but you're like one of the, the, the favorite, the most popular, like, and, and I love it because it's, you're very uh, grassroots, you know, just organic, which I can, I relate to, and uh, maybe that's why we can communicate so uh, symmetrically, evenly, <laughs> whatever. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, so that's my way of saying this is a, it's a pleasure. To, to start this kind of anniversary uh, off with wow. you this morning. So. Well, Are thank you? you so much. Same yeah. year, really. Oh. Always enjoyed so much sharing <clears throat> this space with you. Hey, and today is Ascension Day, right? 
So. Is today Ascension Day? Yeah. <laughs> is, is today Ascension Day? Is that a real day or is that a day you're just saying every day is Ascension Day? Is today, is today Ascension Day? It's actually a holiday here in the Netherlands. <clears throat> I don't know about the US. Is it called Ascension Day? It's actually called Ascension Day. <laughs> oh my God. The day that, uh, <clears throat> the day that I, uh, my world flipped upside down eight years ago is Ascension Day. How fitting is that? Well, How fitting is that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a journey in eight years for all of us. Uh, what were you doing eight years ago? On a oh century? my God, let me think. Uh, what year was that? 2011. 2011. Mm -hmm. In May 2011, I, well, I was still working in my old job in the corporate world. <laughs> and I, I was struggling with a slip disc in my back. And that's actually how it all came like that was the first part of the awakening for me was focusing on myself because I yeah. wasn't able to move anymore. So that's kind of similar. It was also around that time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so, God, I'm getting chills. So, um, <laughs> man, I don't know what's been going on. Uh, you know, everybody always talking about the energies and this and that, and the big event, the big universe is going to wink its eye at us and we're all going to wake up and, you know, lean and be a, poop and gold out of our butts and all this other stuff you know the i think that's what the nasar is we're just going to poop gold <laughs> I don't know. but uh but, uh, I, but don't you know, huh? I don't think <laughs> that's necessary <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit so but you know uh what i kind of gotten out of this and, and you and augustine uh are a big part of that and this is over like i don't know the last 10 days or so i mean I went through purges, other people going through purges. I mean, just all this different yeah. stuff happening. You know, uh, we've had, uh, Morgan and I had this incredible, I, I guess we'll talk about it soon, this incredible thing where we actually, side by side, actually like became one, like physically, mm -hmm. like I was her looking at me and it was weird, it was weird. So all these yeah. things are happening, but what I saw and what I'm seeing that really speaks to me is, just actually seeing the living example of just being who the hell we are, you know? And that's what I saw with you and Augusti. And we've got a Jennifer Victoria Bell coming on uh, next in a couple hours. She went to Egypt and Yukio went to Peru and Katie's, mm. you know, got a wild hair and went to France and now she's going to, I mean, that's, that's it, man. I saw a picture of you two on the beach and it's just like, it wasn't, you couldn't really see your faces too close, but you could see the energy. Yeah. And then, and then just like the, what little was written was like, we we got this shit, you know, <laughs> right? So so what happened and how did? Sorry, you're breaking up. Sorry, I didn't hear you. You were breaking up. <clears throat> yeah, my my signal. That's my excitement. <laughs> um. So what happened? How did you end up going to Rio? and whatever you want to divulge about it you know yeah well what happened actually we didn't go to rio we just flew to rio and oh. then went uh, to a place in the middle of nowhere in brazil uh yes. where there's actually nothing <laughs> did you uh, did you go did you go to pindamonia and gaba uh no i don't think so Pinda? no <laughs> or, okay no we went to uh to uh, a place called santa victoria oh and uh, close by to that city. So it's really in the middle of uh, Brazil where four states actually cross borders. And uh, yeah, it was, it was funny because we had no idea we would go uh, until actually the day before. You're kidding me. <laughs> yes. So you didn't have a ticket till the day before? Exactly, yeah. Oh yeah so that was just, you know, this is the new thing is like being completely in the now. You just can't plan anything. And uh, last time we talked, remember, we wanted to go to Switzerland and to Corsica and uh, yeah. and uh, do other stuff. And that's just not how it works anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not. You plan. It's just like something happens when you're not supposed to go. You're not going. And so I was pretty relaxed and I thought, OK, then there's something else that I'm not seeing yet. Uh, but I could feel that it's it's okay and it has its reason why we're not going yeah. and then out of nowhere comes Bella um, the the lady we talked about in the beginning uh, from Brazil and she reaches out to us and said wow 
Uh, I read this amazing blog of yours about the different dimensions the, the, and you know, the third, fourth and fifth dimension and their differences. I wrote that about three years ago yeah. and somebody translated it into Portuguese and a big platform in, Port uh, in Brazil shared that blog. Wow. And it had like, it went kind of viral, lots of reactions, uh, oh, lots man. of amazing comments. And then she was the one and saying, hey, I resonate so much with what you guys are doing because through the, uh, through the wake up experience, she found fast forward. And then she was like, oh my God, this is exactly, exactly what uh, we've been, you know, busy with over here. And it's, 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 it just feels so good. And yeah. first I wanted to have a video call uh, just the week after and then the next day she writes me I don't know why but I'm looking up tickets for you guys <laughs> oh my god and uh, yeah and actually until really the day before we we didn't know whether we would go or not but at the same time we just somehow knew now it's all gonna be fine and it's gonna happen and we also had the issue with the dogs you know what to do with the dogs all of a sudden we can't just take them to a shelter uh, on such short notice usually and uh, we, well, even that worked out fine somebody here in the network just agreed hey you can I'm gonna take care of them it's not a problem at all just go ahead and go this is important so this is how this community works and that's really this shared essence we have now the also yeah. the platform we're working on that we call yeah. shared essence. that's really it it's like it's all it figures it itself out you don't have to do anything the only thing you, you need to keep doing is keep yourself out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just about to say, but we think yeah. just alike. Yeah. Isn't exactly. that crazy, though? I mean, it, it, it's, it's true. It's really true, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, like we had this little thing over here. I, I guess I can talk about it. Uh, we're in a community, right? And, yeah. and I was talking to someone about it last night because there's like a little kind of a little frequency of drama you know, like 3D, right? Yeah. But the vast majority of the vibration here is comprised of 5D frequencies. Like people respect each other. They, yeah. you know, they don't bother you. I mean, everyone does their own thing. Everybody's, you know, kind of low key after about 8.30 or 9 at night. You know, it's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were just reflecting on, uh, this is not Morgan, it was somebody else I was talking to. We were reflecting on this little 3D aspect of it. You know, and I'm like, you know, I don't, I just, you just don't give it any energy. You know, uh, one of the, the, the landlady or the manager here walked up to me a couple of days ago and she said, Hey, I heard that uh, such and such, such and such, like you were uncomfortable about something. I said, I just looked at her and she goes, or oh, is that just people talking? I said, yeah. And I just walked <laughs> up, gave her a kiss and walked up. I was like, oh, yeah, it's not that much, but yeah, that's a getting out of the way thing. Yeah. 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 As Morgan calls it, the sticky nose. Keep your sticky <laughs> nose out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Unless so, so did you make? Yeah, did you make some connections for Fast Forward over there? I mean, are you all going to collaborate? Or would yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they they are fully part of it now. It, wow. it was it was easy. It it was not even you know it's it's this new kind of sharing, yeah. and. and it resonates with people and then automatically there is a connection. You don't have to go out there or convince or find people or try to make it happen. It happens in such an easy and natural flow. But of course, it really means to let go of all the ideas that you have how it should be. Yeah. And I mean, the last thing we had on the agenda was going to Brazil. <laughs> it's really... <laughs> it, it, uh. It didn't even cross our mind in that way, you know, like I, we have a connection with Brazil, but um, it just didn't feel like this is the time yet. And yeah. we felt, I felt going to Brazil for a different reason, but not yeah. in this way. Um, so so it's, it's just so beautiful to see how everything just connects and falls into place. The right people always come exactly at the right time. And this one was a biggie because, um, and I remember also I watched the, the um, interview you had with, um, with Katie the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about, you know, the money and asking for help. And, yeah, and, yeah. and even that falls away, the yeah. asking for help. It's, it's like automatically, and, and why this was a biggie with Brazil is because for the first time, content matched resources. Mm, equal energy exchange. Yes, and, and that was so big about it, that, that there's people out there that have beautiful 
really beautiful resources. So beautiful um, um, building and land, and uh, but no content. Yeah. On the other hand, we have all the content, but we have no resources. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is exactly these puzzle pieces that come together more and more. And, and uh, I feel it's just starting now that also resources are opening up. Yeah. We've had, you know, the whole last year, and we, we, we've been talking about this, that I know. a lot of healers, a lot of people in the coaching business, a lot of people in the spiritual world still making their living out of coachings, out of, you know, their sort of well, selling their service and their talent. But that also means you basically basically had this as your intellectual property and claiming yeah. is my knowledge yeah. and identifying with this. And therefore, you had a closed circle by yourself of yeah. resource, income, and uh, content. So it was a closed circle. And what happened during the last year, Sology is an example, fast forward is an example that you realize, oh, this is not mine at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has an a soul of its own and this is just doing what it's doing and it's taking me into directions that I never thought it would go and the moment you let mm -hmm. go this, this is my intellectual pro property or this is I'm going to put a copyright on that and you let go of the idea and you open the source so you, you make it open source yeah then you really make space also for resources to match in a different way and of course there's a lag time in between and for the first time this happened now actually that yeah. it it's such a perfect match. I mean, it's like not much, not much of a lag time anymore either. No, not either. But of course, it's really like getting rid of all of your belief systems about I need to make money with this and I need to find a way how to uh, get this into the market. And the moment you let go of all of this and you just stay in the moment, like you said in the be beginning, just stay in the moment, move forward in the moment. Yes. Let it surprise you. Yeah. It unbelievably ridiculous how exactly the right people match at the right time and we just realize yeah we're just one puzzle piece of this fast forward organism yeah and it it does it by itself <laughs> yeah and it's that it's that somebody just put uh, a lot of sacral energy to work with but and it, it's that sec it's that sexy soul vibration energy thing you know it's like this thing that that you know, it's just like I don't know. It's 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 euphoric and it's it's so fucking it tickles almost like it tickles like to the point where you're like, wow, this really feels good. And what I'm talking about is creation. What you're talking about, this is this magnetic kind of pool, and it's actually happening. It's a little bit freaky, you know. I think there was some type of collective block, like getting through that last piece through the eye of the needle. That Katie and I were talking about because I saw it happening. I saw it building up that people want to be on the show. And I'm not saying they had a gender or not. I mean, it was a natural collective thing, but I saw it kind of burst and I saw it happening with y'all. I didn't know the, the story, but I could see the energy of the puzzle pieces just coming together. You know, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Let's it keep amazing. doing it. <laughs> Let's keep. Just relax into the moment and mm -hmm. it's all based on trust. The moment yeah. you fully trust in in that flow and knowing yeah. it's happening in ways you could never imagine exactly and and, so much yeah. <laughs> and you know the thing is what you were saying which is true is like okay so like morgan and i got asked to to uh, speak at a and do a workshop uh, in january in florida yeah i yeah. saw that cool yeah we were like we yeah we're here's another one right out of the blue right and so anyway, we're like, okay, you want to do a workshop on a sacred union? They asked us, do you want to do one on a sacred union? And so I'm like, okay, well, what would we talk about? You know, sacred union, sacred sexuality. And then she said, shadow. And this is my point. My point is what you're saying is, is that no matter what the 5D vehicle is, be it sacred union or instant manifestation yeah. or whatever the case is, we don't have to focus on how to do it. All we have to do is be responsible for our own shit and, mm -hmm. and bring everything into us at all times and just keep perfecting that, mastering that. And it just, it just comes to you. It, it's like you clear the, the debris off the magnet and the, the power of its attraction becomes stronger and stronger. That's what you're talking about and doing and doing. Yeah, beautiful. So can you tell me again, I know I'm slow, 
can you explain again? Because I'll fast forward, <laughs> fast forward. Like, like, what is that? You know, because I know it's not even words. It's just an energy. Yeah. And like you said, it just takes on life of its own. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So fast forward. Fast forward is huge. It's really um, basically the blueprint for the new society on Earth. Yeah. And uh, it has so many aspects to it because there are so many fractals that represent different aspects of this energy. And um, now for the first time, we really feel like it's so pure and it's ready to share because we can be that clear conduit now to explain what it is and um, to share it without any expectation of a certain outcome. Yeah. So fast forward, first of all, um, it, it has a source code. And this source code uh, we got delivered, also downloaded about a year ago. Very cool. It's really cool because in the beginning we had no idea what we were doing with this, um, but it is not only the source code for fast forward, what we realized is it's the source code for new earth. It's the source code for the fifth dimension for how everything operates from now on. And it's based on certain values that are set in stone. That's the only thing that's set in stone and it's based on community, on safe space and on empowerment. These are the three aspects that are necessary for each and every individual to fully and to fully be themselves authentic as they are and uh, contribute only with what they love. Wow. So, and it's so powerful. You, you find the source code on the website as well for everyone who's, who's interested because it's really not only fast forward, it's, it's the new way. And um, when we realized that, we were like, oh my gosh, this is going to be big. <laughs> big. It's, 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 yeah. it, what I love too is the simplicity of it. You know, community, creating a safe space, which is, yeah. is a very broad, I mean, it's, it's not a singular definition. It's a multiple, multi-dimensional expression and then empowerment. Exactly. And, and in the middle, it's you as the individual. You're the core of it all. And so this whole new source code is an, the, old sor the old source code of the third and the fourth dimension. We're, op we're both operating from the outside in. Yeah. So everything was driven from the outside in. And now it's really turned around and everything's driven from the inside out, which is the natural principle. It, it's how, how nature works. And that's basically the source code is the expression of natural principles of this new earth. And it's, it's really so freaking beautiful to read this. I'm every time still, I, I kind of get orgasms when I read it because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go read that right now. <laughs> no, uh, no. So you, <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, I love you. So, uh, but now, so you guys got this downloaded a year ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was a group of five people about a year ago. But what happens, you get this information, you see that everywhere is. You have this very pure download, and then the human interpretation comes in. Yeah. And that's what messes it up for quite especially, a while. Yeah, especially if there's more than one involved. You know, there's like yeah, four or five. Exactly. And you know what's interesting, too, is about a year ago, probably within the next, well, definitely within, within the next week, but a year ago, uh, it's when we when we were laying down and Sology came in, like yeah. came in and said, hey, hi. <laughs> and, and it was this big golden tree bearing golden apples and it showed us the whole thing, kind of like really the same thing. It's the same thing you're talking about, the same yeah. thing. Of course, yeah. of course it's the same. That's the beautiful uh, thing about unity consciousness. Yeah. Because he's always joking that the boss is sending the emails to everyone and you make out of it what you get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your task? I like that. Yeah, that's really, um, yeah that, that's what happened so that's the source code but then of course the code is just the code it's very open because it's it's just the base frequency the energy of the new world and then there's so many different aspects to it because we always talk about you know building bridges yeah. uh, from old earth to new earth and we were struggling with that for quite a while like not understanding how why should we build the bridges for someone who's not there yet you can't yeah. drag them over when they're not ready Right, right. So for us, and, and art always played a huge role in Agusti's life, also in mine, in different aspects. And we realized that art is the way to talk to the subconscious of people, because 
and we talked about this before as well, Todd, is that, that the new wave of awakening has no access to the higher realms, but they're going to push the lid the other way. They're going to work through their physical body yeah. and then push the lid uh, open yeah. to have that access. So how do you do that is by addressing their senses. And what's very different now is that we don't also for this awakening wave. And that's where, where I see a lot of healers also a bit um, lost or coaches as well and stuck because the way the, the old way doesn't work anymore of coaching and healing. And you, yeah. you can see it a lot right now that people try to push it more and try to sell more. And of course, because it's what we talked in the beginning about this little circle you have, you, you still see it as your own yeah. talent and property and then you stay in that loop. Yeah. But it doesn't work that way anymore because the new wave is not interested in these methods. That's they don't. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's also not the 5D frequency um, of healing and coaching. It's the frequency of empowerment and of already being whole. So how do you do that then when you can't, you know, like uh, do the healing stuff anymore and, and uh, uh, when it's no longer about uh, teaching and being taught? the only way to do it is art yeah talk yeah. to people through art and, and <clears throat> really what the only thing that's needed in these new frequencies because it's not a linear timeline anymore it's a it's a parallel timeline package that we're in so the only thing that's needed for people now is that the heart breaks open the heart you know uh, as soon as that's open the new frequencies will come in like crazy and people will go through that process so fast yeah. you don't need the healing methods anymore to 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 facilitate that because the only thing yeah. is crack the heart open the rest will follow and yeah, when, yeah yeah it's been interesting watching this yeah uh, from this chair uh i gotta be careful <laughs> i don't want to upset anybody <laughs> but it's been interesting watching this evolution since probably the first of the year right before the first of the year as this guru yogi thing starts fading away yeah. <clears throat> so we have a very open, it's always, it's always been very open, even when the group has started, you know, 99.99% of the stuff that, that's submitted in the group has always been approved. Mm -hmm. um, because oneness is oneness, it's, it's yeah. exclus exclusivity. But it's been interesting watching the evolution that's, or the transition, I would say, the transition as I've seen individual people who've been on the show who were more. Yeah in that in that little circle you know and that circle isn't just i own this video or i own this song or i own this download it's also i'm jesus son i'm a galactic uh yeah. on a running a spaceship i'm this i'm that it's also this attachment and, and again back to the word you said what do we do how do we do it and i'm thinking to myself you can't own anything nothing no, it's not can, natural yeah, you can't own anything. If yeah. you own anything, you're actually blocking it all out. If you can, if you can release and surrender and, yeah. and let go of everything, then everything comes, you know. And so it's been interesting because I've seen some people who were in that mode very recently start to break out of it and say, hey, it's not mine. <laughs> and, yeah. and I think Katie even said something the other day. She said, she said, we're talking about books and texts and that type of thing. And she said, even the stuff that I've written has got to be changed. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's that motion. It's that forward that you're yeah. talking about. It's that fast forward that uh, is the constant now. So everything, everything changes rapidly. Yeah. And you can go with that or against it, but it's going to be more and more difficult to go against it. Yeah, it and is. That's what you see right now. And, and yeah. the moment you let go, it's always the same. The moment you let go of this old idea how spirituality is, how teachings are, how the, then it all opens up. Yeah. But it, it, it really requires this one step of just surrendering into it and saying, okay, that's done, that's it. I'm open to something new. Yeah. And it's then like, it, it's like Augustine said, it's a remix. Yeah, it's, it's a, remix. a remix. It's not like Every you throw it away. You just say, okay, here's what I got. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's, let's, exactly. let's uh, create some fresh beats now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly so the universe never repeats that, that you know an experience so so it's all new but of course we take the experiences we had with us that are still relevant but it's just 
the, the, the wisdom we take with us. Yeah. It's not any attachment to any intellectual property or any teaching or ideology or whatever. It all falls away. Yeah. And the same is happening now. I can really see that kickstarting with the Brazil experience is the same will happen with the resources. That that shift from private property to collective yeah. property. You know, that there is no more mine. And, and that's when you boil it, when you boil it all down, it comes to identity. Yeah. At the moment you you you're free of identity, you're really free. Yeah. That's and perfect. then you can be this clear conduit of the source code and translate it correctly. Before that, it's always distorted. And uh, you, you tend to go back into linear thinking and yeah. linear time uh, timelines of, okay, and then this is gonna happen and then that is gonna happen. And it, it's like in, in 2012, when everyone thought in, on December 21st, everything's gonna shift on that point. Yeah. <laughs> I it's think everybody, everybody shit on that point. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. And you know, what's, what's, I love to, I love talking to you. Uh, so, cause I'm, I see like Morgan always says a copy is a copy is a copy. Right. So yes. I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, wow, you know, what it is, what it's like. And I think of when I was on the street eight years ago, I developed this constant communion. So I was constantly connected. I didn't talk to anybody, but I was constantly plugged in. I'm not saying that was the right way, but what I'm saying is my mind was out of it. Like I was getting deep, right? So, but so now I look at it this way, what you're saying is, and a copy is a copy. So it's like when you receive a download, transmission, channel, whatever you want to call it, the mind's just gone. And so there's none of that, what you're talking about, because the minute you start to do that, it starts to get tainted it starts to get less pure and there's a lot of people putting stuff out that was 90 percent and 92 percent and eight but that's the point we can be at 100 percent and 100 percent is what i observed you doing katie doing and others doing and, and more and more you know and they're just doing it they're just doing it and you look at the picture of yukia in peru with these chicks and you're like whoa man and it's like you know they're not thinking about where am I going to get my money tomorrow? Katie was in France and had 150 bucks in her pocket. And then boom, right? You're sitting over there thinking, wow, I couldn't go to Switzerland and do this and that and let it go. And next thing you know, you, you're on a plane yeah. going to Rio. <laughs> I mean, what, what the <laughs> hell? Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. But all of a sudden, the life is full of what the fucks in a mm. really good way. You know, like, it's always better than what you could imagine. And, yeah. and that's the beauty of 5D is we really need to get used to this. Yeah. That it's just always so much better. Also that it's so much faster because it's not linear anymore. You don't have to manipulate one timeline forever to make something happen. Yeah. It's all gone. All the stuff from the secret from, you know, it, it's, Thank yeah, you, you can burn, <laughs> burn the book movies it's all yeah. old information and and the new one we're figuring out now together and it actually happens like, like you're reading the book every day it's not like you can read the book and say okay let me see what's gonna go on tomorrow want to help me here it's just yeah. the book is actually what in the doing i had a weird download last night i didn't even tell more i didn't get a chance to tell morgan about it <laughs> so i i was i walked out into the land and i looked up into the sky and there was no clouds and it was dark of course it was a very dark night so the stars were really beaming in and i start looking at the stars and i start seeing this geometry right now she had mentioned something like this to me a couple of nights earlier i usually go behind her so this is probably what, what's happening but what was what was different or that we didn't talk about before was i started looking at it and i was seeing this geometry and then i clearly heard i, I clearly heard the sacred geometry that worked doesn't work anymore <laughs> like something like that like there's a there's new sacred geometry because yeah. it's a new earth or, or whatever but something like that and i don't know does that resonate because it yeah because yeah, it didn't because i never really deal with a lot of sacred geometry yeah not like that but it, there was a clear message yeah. of some sort you know right and that's that no that's in the end it's the new source code that defines everything in a different way. You have a different formula in the beginning, so everything is different. The geometry is different. The mathematics are different. The algorithm is different. The reality, how it plays out, everything is different. 
Yeah. And that's so beautiful because now it's really based on these high frequencies of, of love. And the only thing that people need to do is to let go of the old because they're like these, you know, like a lot of people now are running around like these little USB sticks with the old information. And all they need to do is to plug into the main computer to download the new. Right. And that's, you know, but, but yeah, it's, it's difficult, of course. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to happen because the environment doesn't give you a resonance field any longer for your old program. Yeah. That's yeah. what makes it so beautiful. That's a great, that's a great analogy. Like, uh, it's like, you know, again, a copy is a copy is a copy. How many times do we get, uh, you know, YouTube needs to update uh, yeah. or Google or whatever, you know, Samsung needs to update. So if you think about that, um, that's what we're doing. Yeah, we have a brand we, new operation, uh, operation system. Yeah. And, uh, well, we we got to push the button, though, and say yes. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Download now. <laughs> <laughs> I surrender. I yeah. surrender. Yep. Not being afraid of the old data coming up to make space. So that's that's the last bits of purging and stuff we're experiencing. Of course, it's it's for everyone it's different because it always depends what wave you are in, where you are in your personal cycle and so on. Yeah. But for many, that's now the last things that push to the surface. Uh, it's just that last bits of old information that need to, you know, just make space for the new. Yeah, that's that was that was talked about a lot in the last seven or eight, <clears throat> 10 days. That, in fact, I'm still reading people talking about it. Um, and, you know, I talked about it, you know, I was, I, you know, I was, I've done quite a bit of shadow work. I'm not saying I've done a tremendous amount, but I talked about spending the whole day, my whole body was affected. Uh, I, I never felt anything like it. You know, Morgan held space the whole day, kind of helped me out. No. Uh, and I had these memories of this molestation, like it, two years old and all I kept repeating I felt like I was losing my fucking mind I was like please don't hurt me please don't hurt me please go away you know and and I'm thinking why the hell is this happening and that's what I came to understand in talking with her and then also observing other people that I that I kind of keep an eye on and they were saying this this last final purge you know like getting you can't take this baggage with you through this eye of the needle somebody put it that way so yeah, that's been pretty obvious and evident. That's a great sign because even if it's only happening for, you know, one percent or ten percent, it's it's happening, which means yeah. it's just going to keep expanding. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I had the same. I I was feeling shitty the last two days, really, and and really physically shitty. Yeah. Lots of physical stuff happening, and and really this old information coming up, and and. You can't even tell anymore what exactly it is. It's very old stuff. And often yeah. it's cellular memory that is from, I don't know how many lifetimes ago of your family lineage. And it doesn't matter. It's just like, okay, out. Yeah, yeah. But it was really unpleasant. It's, it's, oh, it's so uncomfortable. When, I know, when man. I was, like, yeah, I was shaking. I was like, I, I couldn't, I was so, I've never had this happen. I was so, I don't know if the word was emotional, but. I couldn't even cry. I was like, please, please come out. Like the tears would well up, you know, that stinging thing. And I, I was like, please come out, please come out. <laughs> and I kept saying to her, why do I got to do this? You know, but then she explained, what is it called? Semantic memory, where it's actually, you know, you have cellular memory, but then the semantic, like it's in the muscles, I guess, and the tendons and the bones. And man, after, but, and the other thing, which you talk about, you and Augusti, uh, she said to me, you know, this went on for like, I don't know, six, eight hours. So let's go to the park. You need to go to the beach, jump in the water. Let's go to the waterfall, jump in the water, go back to the park. And she said, did you notice I was keeping you moving, keeping you yeah. moving the whole time? And yeah, I think that works a lot too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, movement helps a lot. It, it feels very unnatural. And I really have to kick my butt sometimes out to go outside too. But every time you move, even if it's just walking, you don't even have to go running or whatever. But it just helps to release. As soon as the body's moving, the cells start moving and everything starts moving. It's a lot easier to release when you're yeah. in. So let me ask you on the, on the new source code. Uh, yeah. the like fast forward type or Sology is example, yeah. you know, so because I've I've been asking this, we've been talking about this a little bit, not struggling with it, but just trying to find our way. So it's like, do you even ask the universe for anything? 
Are you, do you tell the universe, this is what I need? Or do you just clear and then be that, yeah. you know? Uh, what's, where, what's your take yeah. on that? Well, we, we really found out that asking doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it's also an old way of, yeah. of manifesting. Yeah. It's really just going with that flow of that new energy and then everything moves really fast but fast in, not in a linear way and that's where we get confused because it's fast in a very you know dynamic natural way so that means that there's phases in between where you just sit and you feel really bored yeah. because your your body still is in like but i have to do something i have to do something but this is the new way because yeah the, the body is still in the linear kind of thinking and you think yeah. you have to move stuff and you have to do stuff but nature doesn't work that way. No. I mean, you know, you, you plant a seed, you, 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 the DNA is there, you plant the seed and that's the action for now. And then yeah. you can let go of it because you know, this needs time to grow. It's not gonna be a tree tomorrow. Yeah. So, it's, so it's really, this whole new way of working is you're in the middle of whatever you do and what your individual purpose is and with the whole group of people that is around you. And all you do is you basically just turn in circles and, and go where the energy takes you. Yeah. Like with Brazil, you know, there, all of a sudden there was a flow to Brazil. So yeah, let's follow that flow. Something's yeah. happening there. We didn't yeah. even question why we're going or what's happening there. We didn't even really know what to, what's gonna, you know, wait there for us. We're just like, okay, let's see. It's, it's like a, a James Bond adventure. You know, we, we just get a mission and now we're gonna go and we, we have no idea what's Celestine, gonna happen. Celestine Prophecy. Like, yeah like that book sells through but, but it's fun you know when you're in trust yeah. it, it's so much fun but then again there's these times in between where we would as a human we would define that as waiting and being bored I, you know that's a great that's a great uh description um that is a really great description i think that is the point like it happens to us here we'll be like yeah. working we work 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 and then we got to get out of here you know, yeah. we've got to get out of here. And, and the more we're doing that, the more I think comfortable maybe it is that we're not doing something because we really are doing something. That's really probably the most important thing we can do, you yeah. know, is lay on the beach, get a blanket and just chill, you know, or whatever the case is. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Very good point. The doing is in the not doing. <laughs> All we have now is the structure. We have the DNA and the structure, the blueprint. And of course, that's dynamic too, because every time somebody new comes into the project, everything shifts again, because it's an, we call it augmented co-creation, co because it's not we're going to co-create, you know, like whatever, a, a, a glass or, you yeah. know, and, and you, bring the, you bring the minerals and you bring the oven yeah. or whatever. No, it's really like your ideas, and then it shifts again into something else. Good point. And it's so dynamic. It, it's and, and there again, it's letting go of your ego of this has to be my way, and this is how I envisioned it, and now it has to be that way. It always shifts and changes with every person that comes in and gives it another spin. Right point. Yeah. So so this is what we experience. So all we have is the DNA and the structure, and the structure is something that is also defined by the by the dna in the end like when you look into nature we know exactly yeah. okay the dna defines this is a human being so it's going to grow into the form of a human being without you deciding okay now i'm going to grow the finger and now i'm going to you know ex ex like uh, wow. create relapse and 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 so this is what it does and this is the same for projects think about yeah. that that's 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 fucking fascinating if you think about all the theories and the interruption or interference in, into this, re, this experience or reality, whatever you want to call it, yeah. there is a school of thought pretty predominant that someone or something came in and started playing God and started manipulating and, and, and controlling and owning and all that shit. And that it interrupted the natural flow. So this is the epiphany I'm getting as I'm talking to you. So it's like all the stories, reptilian and Anunnaki and archons and all, and whatever, all that just goes away because really there was just an interruption, an interference 
uh, in the natural process and we're getting back to this natural process. That's what I'm hearing from you. Absolutely. You know? It's, it's, I mean, the, it's like the human body when, when you have cancer or you get sick, you have a, you know, whatever, a heart attack. It's just a symptom of blocking the flow. And that's the same for the collective. That's the same for projects, for cities, for anything, really. Yeah. So the moment we understand that everything is run by a DNA, not just what we would call living beings, mm. uh, but really everything has this certain source code that defines yeah. what it will grow into. Yeah. Astrology has that specific DNA. You, you might not know it. You, you might not have written it down, but it's an organism that will grow exactly into what it needs to be. Yeah. And that's the getting yourself out of the way factor to yeah. not you know, block it with attachments or with, oh, but this is how I wanted it to be and let it be what it needs to be. It's always this getting ourselves out of the way thing. And we had the same experience the whole last year with fast forward. Every time we went against that source code. Yeah, you're asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's like, uh, Norma Costello says, uh, it's not like pushing the river, but using its flow to be moved with the current. And then Morgan and Katie jumped in. Morgan said, it creates itself. You know, Katie's yeah. like, sure does. So yeah. And, and that is, and that is, and like she says, a copy is a copy. So, so it's the same for the, it's really the flower of life. It's the individual. Yes. And then you become two or more and it works the same way this web of you know spheres or this web of cells or whatever you want to call that but each and every one when you truly listen to your intuition then you you automatically follow that dna yeah, yeah because yeah. the only thing that distorts it is the mind but when you really come from that heart space you, yeah. you know exactly what to do like every single cell in your body knows exactly what to do but they're not going to the brain and asking hey how was that again what do i need to do it, it's automatically yeah yeah and the more and, we understand yeah. we are following exactly the same principles like nature we just forgot about it yeah and uh, we have all the answers yeah it's really that simple and yeah, that's and it's, so beautiful because it's yeah, so and I, yeah and, it, and then and the thing is uh god that's another good point you brought up is where we want to go and get reinforcement or validation or confirmation, you yeah. know, at the uh, mutual admiration society, basically the mutual codependency society, right? And so we will we'll say, like, what do you think of me one way or another? What do you think of my project or, or, you know, and, and so this is also forcing us and this is what I'm seeing. I think this is where you're very accurate about, you can either go with it or you can resist it. <laughs> because if you resist it, you, you're going to get it's, it's getting more painful, right? Yeah. But, uh, but so like it's kind of forcing us or it's allowing us to align with ourselves, be present with ourselves, focus on ourselves. And if we don't, it's going to force us. <laughs> so watch out, you know, because you could end up by yourself in the middle of nowhere, which is actually a great gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah, this is basically fast forward. So there is the there is the way of how to really like offer a bridge for people that are still not in the process. Yeah. There is um, the network that matches resources with artists because everyone is an artist. Yes. Everyone with their talent is an artist. So that's also something from the old paradigm that I realized, wow, we always used to call people human resources. Yeah. And that's not what they are. Uh, human resources, it, it's human is the artist that translates and channels the information of the source code to put it into action and to actually create. And uh, so that's the part of the artists and the other like matching with the resources that are available so that people can find each other in a simple way. That's, yeah. that's the second part of it yeah. is the network. The third part is the spaces to really have spaces because what we realized is when, when people come together like tomorrow, Katie, Marco, uh, Agusti, me, and some other people, Natasha is going to be there. Uh, Iris is going to be there. It's, it's always creating a power station. Oh, hell. Get the, uh, so get, the hangover, a, get the hangover, little, get the hangover remedies ready. Yeah, we're have <laughs> going through Amsterdam tomorrow. <laughs> that's what we 
yeah, like the spaces are important for physical, um, yeah. like these physical torus points yeah. where people can come to and where permanently this energy, yeah. you know, building up itself. So that's, yeah, that's the third powerful. Point. That's really powerful. I mean, that I was talking to her about that yesterday, but that's that's really powerful. And I've experienced that at, at different levels, but there is something that happens when two two souls come together physically in the same space. But when yeah. you start throwing in, and that's not to say that you get eight or 10 of them in there, because if they're not in the same intended heart space, if they're not coming from the same place, not making anyone wrong, it doesn't work the same way. But now you're starting to see three, four, five, six, and they all have the same, the same unconditional openness. It's like, it's like a, uh, a, a huge soul merging it's like we're opening up to each and every person without any fear which means that it's like you said the heart's broken open yeah. and and all that coding you know as yeah, Morgan, exactly. Morgan's explained so much all that coding is exchanged naturally it's not naturally. even hey let me tell you what I know it's not like that it's just yeah. you know yeah. And that was really, an, uh, for us, the most amazing experience in Brazil. We were mixed with all kinds of people on all kinds of frequencies. But when you have that stable frequency in the middle, everyone shifts up because the mm. people who are in 5D are no longer shifting down. Mm. So automatically, everyone who wants to stay in the field shifts up. And they are all, because it's in such a down-to-earth, natural way, even the communication, it's no longer, you know, the spiritual language or anything. You don't need to use all these terms yeah. to, to talk from the heart if you have. And that's the source code. It, it expresses values in a very simple way. Yeah, and, that's right. And people understand that. And they can feel it. They can feel this is different. And yeah. that's all that's needed is really that. So, so, yeah, that's one important factor about the spaces. And then the last part, of course, is really building the new society, yeah. but not building it all by ourselves. It's really infecting yeah. the old society, the old yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. It's all there. You know, why would we have to um, develop technology from scratch if there's companies that have it all available? All that is missing there is the, the soul, the heart. Yeah, which, which brings in the equal energy exchange, which brings in these these uh, situations like you're talking about uh and have experienced you know that have been not typical because it's always been hey i'm gonna do this for you um in fact somebody wrote me the other day and like can i help you in any way <laughs> and i was like i'd love to find an angel investor but i don't think the universe is going to allow that so no. the same thing could happen or look the same but but it's you yeah. don't you don't seek it you can put it out there and then just say okay yeah. i'm done kind of deal the other thing that's interesting is I got a message from a lady a couple of days ago and she was watching a soul speaks and there was a traditional and beautiful lady, traditional guest or traditional uh, healer, you know, medium, whatever you want to call it, beautiful lady. Uh, and so she was kind of coming from one place and saying, um, you know, this is how it works. And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't resonate with that. As far as I know, how do I know? I don't know anything. I mean, all I know is I'm Todd. I have some, you know, like everybody, I have these other parts of me that I'm getting to know and that are all aligning. But how do I know that, that when this physical body expires, how do I know that I'm not just going to be warm dirt? You know, how do I know that, that, that I'm, I'm going to, you know, ascend to the highest level and, and, I, and be God himself or herself? I don't know. I don't know anything. The only thing I got is this. This is all I got, you know, and something is happening that's defined what we might call physicality. It's, it's, it's defined that because that is not natural. Death is not, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like we're actually bringing this stuff in and it's so weird because like you said, just get out of the way. Yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> it's just that simple. Get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. And the moment you're not in, in separation anymore, because that's what happens with the identity when you identify with my content, my property, my, yeah. you know, whatever, my, if it's intellectual ideas or if it's really physical stuff and material and money or whatever, the moment that dissolves, there's no more reason for any wars. There's no more reason for any uh, conflicts because the attachment is gone. Yeah. And that's that's that right. 
that's all, yeah. that, all that it is. And that it's, yeah. And, and, and this lady ended with, uh, she ended yeah. with, uh, it was beautiful, actually. She says, uh, so I was watching that show and you said, you know, this, the lady was saying this and I, I'm tired of nothing against the lady. She's like, I'm tired of hearing all that. And then you're saying, you know, we don't know nothing. <laughs> and then she said, and she sent me this link. And because it is all about the personal, you know, I can tell you whatever I want and vice versa, but it's, you, you got to do you and I got to do me. And so at the end, she sent, sent me this link and I went to it. And it was a very traditional, um, but not pious, just a very straightforward Bible. Thing. Yeah. And had some very uh, short uh, excerpts from the Bible. And they were just very, very oneness, you know, just, just very simple. And she said, I watched this. I went to this person's website and that person's website and this person's website. Uh, I think whatever you, Morgan, do is going to be great, you know, whatever subjects you tackle. But I'm going back to God. <laughs> and I just thought, wow, that's, that's, but it's the same thing. Yeah. You know, that's, that's for her. That's, yeah, it's the same thing though. Yeah, of course. And it is simple. It is very simple. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's all. That's the only formula that you need. So, to so how do we approach this? I mean, like if I say to you, okay, so what are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> so what are your that's plans? <laughs> that's right? how you approach it. <laughs> yeah. I can tell so, you that. Much. Yeah. So, you know, like, what are you going to be doing, man? <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, I have no idea. Seriously, yeah. all there is is now. It's the moment. And <clears throat> it's it's impossible to plan anything. It's, yeah. You can set intentions yeah. and, and really follow that energy. I mean, I know that Katie is supposed to come tomorrow, but who knows? You know, it's like, yes, the intention is there. We want to meet up. We want to do stuff together. But it's, it's really, when it's aligned, it's happening. When it's yeah. not aligned with what needs to be, it's not. And it's really yeah. the DNA that drives it. And for us, the only task we have is becoming this clear channel and conduit to do what we specifically each, and in, like as an individual came here to contribute to create the physical part of New Earth. Yeah. The energetic part is done. The, 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 yeah. You know, the, the grids are written, it, it's yeah. all there. <clears throat> yeah. But now it's really like letting it grow into this energetic form that's already defined. So, and so the DNA part of it, our, our, our with my Texas accent, our, okay. <laughs> our, I like <laughs> our, Morgan gives me shit all day, all day long. <clears throat> so our, our, <laughs> so what we can do, or, or what can we do to, um, align with that the, on the dna part is is i guess as i'm understanding it is to be to, to handle to be responsible and own our shift and own our shit you know i mean it's really that is that the best the best contribution we can make i mean is that the core yeah, yeah, it's really conscious effort? observing yourself and observing what happens and without getting caught up in you know any like like interpretations so every yeah. time we catch ourselves in a human interpretation of what that might be you're already down the alley of not making it happen yeah. so it's it's for me i can really recommend to everyone not because it's written by a fast forward movement but this source code is so powerful and everyone who gets in touch with it automatically integrates it and and it's it's just so beautifully simple simple yeah. And, and living by that makes it so much easier because you can relax more. You can just say, hey, this, I was never in control. I tried controlling this my whole life, but now I can really relax and I can trust that nature does exactly what's necessary. And this organism of humanity is coming back into balance. It, yeah. just like our individual bodies are coming back into balance. It's the same that's happening for the whole organism. And it's not my individual task. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I have a mission and I need to do this. And it's like a burden almost because yeah. you think you need to save the world. It's yeah. not like that because no. we do it together. And that's that co-creation. But of course, co-creation is only possible when you let go of the attachment. This is mine. 
uh, and this is yours. That's yeah. not how co-creation works. Co-creation is putting it into the mix and saying, okay, let's remix it, like Agusti said. Yes. And then, yeah, and then, together. yeah. And then the other thing is too, I mean, because we, we actually have an opportunity to exchange code by being open, by listening to anything and everything. I mean, until you can say, mm, I'm done with that, you know, but I mean, so it's, it, it's, uh, but you're right. It's, it's not, it, we get lost. As Mick Rogers says, we fuck up the feng shui when we start to interpret, you know, yeah. as opposed to just experience, I experienced this, I experienced that. Yeah. It does, it, that this doesn't resonate anymore. Yeah. And that's what I find. What I find is something that, that was going like this, like, you know, like helping me go like this, maybe, or I don't know how to draw the analogy, starts to do this. Yeah. And then, that, and, then and, and it loses its, it, it got me here, but it's not getting me there. So, and that's okay. You love it, you hug it, you kiss it goodbye, and you... Exactly. And, and, and that's the and, detachment of yeah. teachings, of ideology, of methods, of whatever. It brings you to a certain level. And in the beginning, it's like learning riding the bike. And in the beginning, you need the, the additional little wheels, you know, to find your balance. But at some point, you just got to drop them off. And it's, oh, it's... I didn't know that. I always kept mine on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's so huge. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, this is so humbling because, you know, it's when when you when you can look back and see. I'm probably hard on, but you know, the stupid. <laughs> You're like, God, I was stupid. <laughs> you know. Well, and I'm well, talking we specific. We right? can all say that. Like looking yeah. back, you think, Oh my God, how stupid. Yeah. But, but, it's the, but the wisdom. But that means there's that means you've hit some wisdom because I know that's what I would say. You know, the, the wisdom is behind act, the stupid. Yeah. You always act from the place that that is, you know, available for you right now. Yeah. The wisdom that is available for you. And it's never really stupid. It just seems very stupid when you're much further ahead in your journey. Yeah. Like trying I mean, to yeah. like judging a, a you know, like a two-year-old that it's not able to understand quantum physics. Yeah. It's it's just evolution and or it's the two-year-old that does <laughs> the two-year-old is like i don't like that i'm i like this and you're like no you got to do this eat your peas eat your peas <laughs> but yeah. uh yeah and so like i i think back to to all the times and all the people and i've said we're going to do this and we're going to do that and we're going to this, and there was something magical about the energy and the intention of that but that was it it's like yeah. the, the the framing up and the and the and the planning and everything i'm sure i drove a lot of people crazy because plenty of them unfriended me <laughs> like i'm tired of waiting <laughs> on him he's full of shit you know but but there is something about the energy so it's almost like how do you how do you give that how do you how do you do that and just shut up you know which is yeah. what i what we started the show off with when i said i was watching you guys and watching yuki or watching katie and it, there's no words, you know, it's just a big smile. Here I am with my friends and I'm doing crazy shit, which is, makes no sense, you know, okay. makes no sense at all. I'm going to Brazil tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know it, why. We just, you meet people you've never seen in this lifetime and it immediately clicks and you're like, you know, you, you just know each other forever. There's yeah. no, like, yeah. like this, this whole, like, you know, shame place that you usually or the space of shame that you usually you kind of get used and then you do the small talk and blah 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 blah. Yeah. All of that falls away. You just go oh, straight forward and care that. about everything. It's so yeah, and I can't do that, you know. I can't do it with people that I'm close to. I can't do it with people I don't know. I can yeah. I can make I I don't think that's faking. I, you know, hey, how are you doing today? Nice to see you. I think that's you know cordial. But I can't sit there and, and do, you know, I sat outside last night. Uh, do you want to talk about the last White Sox game? Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I, I sat outside last night and uh, it, with a couple of guys, right? Yeah. Uh, they were just hanging out. And I laughed. Morgan went up to bed. And normally I would go right up because, you know, I love, I love yeah. you know, connecting with her at night. And, uh, but, man. 
we just talked for like another 30 minutes or an hour. I laughed like a little kid the entire time. I couldn't even, I couldn't wow. stop crying. Yeah. It was, it was beautiful, you know? And I don't even know what we were talking about. <laughs> I can't even tell you what it was. It's the energy. It's really the energy. Yeah. It's so, so connecting and it just yeah. feels good. It feels so aligned. Yeah. 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 And then automatically we create that safe space. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to, are you going to give Hank a call to, to, to we'll see if you can round him up? For oh, yeah, Hank, we should, we should involve him. I didn't you know. know yeah. He's not in Amsterdam. He's. Oh, you know what? He's coming on. Oh, he's not. He's not in Amsterdam. Uh, he's in the Netherlands, but not directly in Amsterdam as far okay. as Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he's actually coming on tomorrow. I'll mention it to him. It, it, it uh, would be this time, I guess. But he, oh my God, he wrote a piece two or three days ago. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. About his stepdaughter. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, he talks about his stepdaughter who was mm. 14, who passed 13 years ago. I might have those numbers backwards. Yeah. Tells this incredible story. Uh, oh my God, it was just absolutely yeah. riveting. I mean, it was just like, wow. You know, he's an excellent writer and beautiful man. Yeah. So, yeah. so I hope, sweet. yeah, he's really cool. Without any filters either. Oh, I know. He's like a little boy. We have so much fun when we talk. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. he talks about, like, you know, I how. The last show when he was completely on mushrooms still. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the one time when he first talked about his Kundalini experience, he's like, yeah, and I had that, you know, with that accent, he's like, and I had orgasm in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he thought, what's going to happen? He said, what's going to happen now? You know, yeah, I know, I'm like, you're going to have to wear a diaper. Did you think he had to wear a diaper from this point on? Yeah. But that's, you know, that's something I really love about the Dutch in general. They have a very playful energy. Yeah, yeah. It, there's, there is a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's incredible. Well, man, I always enjoy it. I want to see Augusti soon too, man. Uh, God, but well, he's right here. Let me say hi to him. Come now. He's right here. Yeah. <laughs> come on. What's he doing? Say hi. Well, come sit down. Yeah. He's listening quietly. Oh man, you look like Jesus. I I, I saw the picture like like a month ago, and I told Morgan, "Hey, man, look at this picture. He looks like Jesus." With an antenna. Yeah. Half Jesus an with an antenna. Yeah, man. <laughs> Right on. Yeah, you look great with a beard. Yeah. So you got, you're one of those, uh, you got one of those full beards. Mine's, I got to let grow for a while and fill in all the, the bald spots. So great time in Brazil, huh? Yeah, these people are, and the mother of Bella, the lady that, uh, that um, invited us there, it was that connection that you just explained that two people that are doing the same thing that one is doing content that the other is doing uh, continent then meet each other just look at the eyes no necessity to say anything so yeah. Really, yeah. wow when you feel your match and it's later the five days that they spent that we spent with her it was unfolding things that everything was yes 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 that that it was another organ <laughs> When you, have, when you have that, you know, it's, it's amazing. And it's the bodies are, or the avatars, or whatever you want to say, it, inter, in, uh, feeling the exchange of information constantly. Yeah. And because you know that everything that you was doing was right. And that lady was doing in, in Brazil a project during 10 years, and everybody was telling her that she was crazy, that, that what the hell are you are doing. And suddenly yeah. she was click. <gasps> now the projects match. And wow, yeah. I'm really, really happy. I'm so happy. Are you there? Are you he's, still there? He's frozen again. You're frozen. <laughs> oh. Too so, much energy. Yes. <laughs> now he's gone completely. <laughs> now we are the host. <laughs> uh, it's a lie. Hey, Todd. Hi. Wow, this is tripping me out, man. What's yeah, that? man. Too much energy. Are we no, alive or not? Yeah, it actually, that was weird. So it was like, it, yeah, you guys froze. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm looking at the phone. I'm like, okay, who's, who's frozen? And then all of a sudden it turned off, like the, the, the screen. And I looked and, and it was gone. And then it popped back up. Probably it's the universe that doesn't want me to explain that part of what we are building in Brazil. No. <laughs> you, it, it came through loud and clear. I was, yeah. And I was going to tell you, when I saw Vera, 
you know, and it's more than sun uh, tan, you know, I was like, whoa, what happened to you? You know, and I'm looking at you and it's the same thing. You look like, I, I don't know if the word's younger, it's, that's definitely got something to do with it, more like youthful energy or something, but it's, I can see that both of y'all, on both of y'all, uh, you're like, it's like night and day, man. Like, you know. You know what happened to me? I, you know that everything that happens in our life, it's our projection. Yeah. So we were with a friend of us in Brazil that she invited us in. It was, we really made a big trip around Brazil. And we were in a town in Troncoso, uh, invited by, again by somebody else that say, yeah, you should stay here uh, five more days. And they changed, it, they changed the plane tickets and we really stayed five more days. Really, it was like this. It was complete surprise. So we spent time there with somebody that just knew online and then uh, somebody that is supporting us uh, in the Project Fast Forward. We were there. And then one of the days that we were making excursions uh, in a little town far away, close to a beach with an indigenous, a native uh, uh, tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a town without electricity, without cars. And people still were using mules with car carriages to move things in the town. And one mule looked at me and I, and I felt God in the eyes of that mule looking to me. And it was myself, so it was my projection, that I was doing the mule, trying to be the president of the fast forward, trying to be the artifacts and pushing. <laughs> And that mule was completely exhausted on the yeah. sun, stuck, empty. And I was my whole life trying to push the project. Yeah. My whole life. Yeah. And what happened with Bella and their family and how we connect with the people in Brazil is that, wow, there is a lot happening in all the different fractals, in all the different projects that we are not able to see because we are planning. We are making excels we are making projections we are making 10 years plans that we talk about with you that it's not anymore about 10 years plans but one of the things that we talk with vera is i don't want to do excels anymore in my life forget the excels because don't, they don't allow magic simple like this and in brazil i realized that the i'm in the boss is in charge of everything the only when i'm doing my passion when we are doing what is our inner child, the artist, and you, with all the knowledge that we uh, accumulate, and, and you are a, a master of sharing knowledge here, hey guys, while you are still trying to do things, to do plans, to sell programs, <laughs> if everything if God provides. Yeah. 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 God provides. And it's like, what the fuck? I was finally. I really decide to sit on the passenger uh, of the car, on the sit on the seats of the passenger. I'm not driving anymore. Yeah. I am not driving anymore. Oh and, my god! Yeah. And the next months for the project, it really now it's it's twisting in the plan. And my father is telling it's telling me all the time that wow, you are you don't have a house. You are living around the planet, and you are f feeling at home around the in any place of the planet. Because we don't want to, every time that you are trying to move to the left, move to the right, to keep straight on the ship or the car, you are not allowing what the God provides. And if you are doing what your intuition, your heart is, and let go the control, that for me it was fucking difficult. Today for me it really ascension day. That, 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 <laughs> that I, day. I really <laughs> let go a lot. I am just playing. Yeah. Man, and, and thank you. Thank you for that. I'm telling you, I just hit a point of alignment. I could feel it in my head, my heart. Um, and I don't even know totally what you say. <laughs> but it's, uh, but you know, and what's funny though, is uh, yesterday, Morgan and I, occasionally we do sessions, you know, and, um, and uh, it was a friend of ours and uh, he was kind of blocked. He was kind of blocked. And so I, it was one of those situations where I was the proxy and she facilitated so that he wouldn't have to, so our friend wouldn't have to like, cause he was blocked. So I just, it's a method she developed where 
the person goes in with the permission of the other one and speaks to the other one's higher self or to hear what it has to say. And so he says something about, uh, I don't remember the question, but what I, what it came into the third eye was there was, there was, there was this donkey and it was sitting on its ass and there was a bridle and my friends trying to pull the fucking donkey. And I said, this is what I'm seeing. I'm supposed to tell you, you know, and, uh, and then it showed my friend dropped the bridle, went over to the donkey, put his arms around the donkey. And I thought, you know, my human brain, which messes it up. Right. I thought, oh, well, now he's going to get the thing and lead the donkey. But no, then I saw my friend on the back of the donkey, like riding it like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was funny. Exactly. But yeah, the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. It was, two, two, I think, two days ago or three days ago that we were here in Amsterdam, just coming back from that high frequency in Brazil, a community, a family, a place, complete, a place that it's high, high frequency. And we were like, why we are feeling like here in Amsterdam? Why, why, why we are doing all the, all this, all this fucking project? What we are putting our energy <laughs> in our life? If at the end everything is virtual, why, <laughs> why we have to do all of this? Why to create the new earth? Why to shift the planet? If it's virtual, the, the, the souls have a button that make shift, put, period. Why send 200 or 1,400 people <laughs> right. to do that? Just seriously, God is not able to create the button to just make next uh, extinction or next uh, thing. It's like, why? And and we really felt both like fed up. Yeah. And the, the morning after, we realized that we are going to do it just for fun and our excitement for us and nothing that it's not in our excitement and not for us. And for us, it means for us, our family, and everybody that wants to play with us. And and I'm feeling joy. <laughs> yeah. Which which also which which is a, a great advantage, I think. Uh, not that anyone's better than anyone else at all. I'm not saying that, but the whole thing about being in a conscious relationship, because like, you know, I'm like, hey, all we gotta do is like go lay down together. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's true. It's not a lustful thing. It's, 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 I've just, never heard that. you know what I'm talking about? It's just like, it, it's like every time we connect and it can just be us holding hands and, but it's just being present together. Uh, and, and it's like all this stuff starts happening. Like, like it just happens. Like you were talking about, you know, you clear it, you clear it. And then it, it, it just comes in. You don't even have to like, the, like, the, okay, that's why I feel weird. Why do you ask the universe when I'm the fucking universe and like I know what I need or what I'm not what I need, but I know what what I'm seeing, what I want. You know, it, the, it's like the minute you 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 it clicks, it's already done. It's just a matter of like Vera said, having the patience and and dealing with the boredom, which gets back to what y'all talk about movement. You know, yeah. when in doubt, you let it out somehow. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Today, John McIntosh posts something really beautiful that it's, yeah, our whole life we're in the car pushing the gas. Now it's moment to put the neutral and let that everything goes smooth, <laughs> not yeah. anymore, just yeah. the flow of life go there. Yeah. 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 Neutral. Put it neutral. neutral. Yeah. Neutral. Put it neutral. Yeah. Neutral means that if today things come, the, the boss send an email to you that do this, do that marketing, do that that um, Im improvement on the website, do that whatever you do. And if nothing, just watch a TV movie or go to the cinema or, or, or play with uh, video games. Because the problem is that we, we were with the human body, things that we are the ones who have to make it happen and, and the light workers need to shift the planet and, and that, that's exhausting. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad for all the light workers that want to shift the planet. That's exhausting. I want to have fun. That's <laughs> right. If we have fun, we will shift the fucking planet. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of course. Say that everybody's going to have fun and right? everybody's going to live in that, that community and safe space. There is no wars. There is no identity. Yeah. There is no. And this is when you came on last time by yourself, this is where we had that great conversation. And uh, this, is, this is what we were both 
we were both connecting on that moment. I remember we were like, and, and it's really just expanded now, you know, yeah. and, and oh my God, I'm getting hit. I'm getting like lit up here, but, uh, but it's expanding now and it's a little bit, uh, um, you can kind of see the stress it's that, that it's causing out there on that yogi guru frequency, which is a disempowering frequency. I mean, what were the three things you said? You said community, safe space, and empowerment. And that's really the deal, you know, empowerment, uh, which is to, to with respect and love and honor and reverence to yourself, do what you want to do, man. <laughs> do what you want to do, because you will get, you will get instruction. No doubt. Exactly. Some... Yeah. <laughs> Five days ago, huh? we were joking that I, sometimes there is so much task. He's sending me so much task that I'm going to start to sending some emails to the spam. To the... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the spam, though. <laughs> That's the, everything's upside down, right? We, we've, been, we've been in this inbox that we... You know, got like you know, like the tech, the tech age, like this, when really we should be looking in the spam box because the you know source is just a big comedian. <laughs> it's just a, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you all have a good time tomorrow. I'm sure you will. <clears throat> I'd love to see some pictures. Tell Marco hello and we have surprises for them. <laughs> you got surprises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I like surprises. Yeah, I had some friends come from Utah. They brought some surprises. It's interesting. But yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, give everybody a hug and we'll, oh. we're there. We're there and uh, we're there in the field with you. We really are. I, I, I appreciate you guys putting it out there. You know, that, that that's really what it's all about. You know, it really is. And, and the thing is, too, in, in the expressions you put online, the humor, you know, the the the, the funny, crazy quirkiness. Uh, Augusty saying, you know, some some of those things that he put up where he's like, I don't know shit, you know. <laughs> or Vera, you know, you do the same thing. You're like, you know, I woke up this today, not realizing that everything I worked on doesn't mean nothing now. <laughs> and just the way she puts it out there. But I think that's really, like you said at the top of the show, uh, transparency. It, it's it's a hundred percent. The thing about transparency. And this is where we don't have a choice. This is the energy of what you're saying. You know, you can either align with it or you can resist it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see and be part of y'all's trip. So thank you very much on behalf of everybody. Me and too. Fun. Thank you so much for having me, us again, yeah. perfectly. Yeah. 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 I'd love to do something creative with the Augustine, uh, with the music thing. I'm, checking in a couple of things. I'm not going to say this, but I'm checking in a couple of things and we'll pick it up when the divine timing is. Of course. Divine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the universe is. Uh, yeah. 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 Awesome. So, all right. Okay. You guys take it. Hey, everybody get over to, I guess you put up the, um, the link early in the show. Uh, fast forward and take a look at the source code. I'm going to do it. And, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, our year, you know, this is our coming out, collaboration, co-creation, sovereignty, expansion, supporting each other, being that which we are in uh, equal energy exchange. So, you know, don't mm -hmm. have to, yeah. So let's let's uh, do that for fast forward and Augustine and Vera. See you later. Take care. Mm -hmm. Thanks yes. everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.